You hear that sound every single day, but almost everything you think it means is wrong. Adult cats almost never meow at each other. That sound is reserved just for you. And what about that strange chattering noise at the window? Or the purr when they're on your lap? Which, by the way, doesn't always mean they're happy. Your cat's sounds aren't random. They're a complex, emotional, and surprisingly precise language. In this video, we're decoding the seven essential sounds in your cat's vocal toolkit. We'll start with the friendly ones, like the meow and trill, and then move to the serious warnings, like the hiss and the yowl. And at the end, I'll give you a simple three-step guide to becoming a true cat whisperer in your own home. So how does a creature that can't form words still manage to talk? It all comes from their vocal instrument, the larynx or voice box, which lets cats create an incredible range of sounds. To keep it simple, animal behaviorists group these into three categories. First, the closed mouth sounds, like the purr and the trill. These are soft, low intensity, intimate noises. Think of them like the human hum. Second, the sounds made with the mouth opening and then closing, like the classic meow. These are the ones used to send clear messages. That's our version of speaking words. And third, the open mouth sounds, like the hiss or the growl. These are high alert defensive signals. Think of it like us shouting with our mouths wide open. Knowing which category a sound belongs to is the first step to decoding the emotion behind it. Okay. So that's the science, but what does it actually mean? This is where we start to translate, breaking down the sounds you hear every day. This one isn't even for cats, it's just for you. Kittens meow to their mothers when they're cold or hungry, but as adults, cats stop meowing to each other. In the wild, they rely more on scent, body language, and touch than on voice. So why do they meow at us? Because over thousands of years, Cats figured out that sound was the perfect way to train humans. And it works. The secret isn't just the word meow, it's the delivery. Like human speech, cats change rhythm, pitch, and emphasis to shift the meaning. A short, bright meow is a hello. A long, drawn-out meow is a request. Some cats even slip a baby-like cry into their purr, a sound tuned to the same frequency as a human infant's cry. Our brains are wired to notice it, and researchers call it the solicitation purr. It's one of the cleverest interspecies hacks in nature. Even more fascinating, cats develop their own dialects of meows at home. In studies, owners could recognize their own cat's meows, but not those from other cats. That means your cat has been tailoring their language specifically to you, like inventing a private code. So when your cat meows, it isn't just noise, it's a learned, flexible, and deeply personal form of communication. It's their way of saying, you're not just human, you're family. One of these sounds may actually help bones heal. No, really. We think of the purr as happiness, and often it is. But cats also purr when they're anxious, in pain, or even giving birth. So purring isn't just an I'm happy button, it's also a built-in stress reliever. Here's a wild part. A cat's purr falls between 25 and 150 hertz. That's the same range scientists have linked to tissue repair, stronger bones, and faster healing. Orthopedic studies even suggest vibrations in this range can help fractures mend more quickly. In other words, a purring cat may be running its own vibrational therapy session. And the effect carries to us. That low rumble spreads through their body and into ours when they sit on our lap or chest. Some studies suggest it can lower blood pressure, reduce stress hormones, even ease breathing problems. And it gets stranger. Not all big cats can roar, but many, like cheetahs, cougars, and bobcats, can purr. That points to purring as an ancient adaptation, a survival tool for conserving energy, calming stress, and repairing the body while resting. So the next time your cat purrs, don't just hear contentment. Think of it as them flipping on a full body healing device, one that might be quietly tuning your body too. Ready for the feline version of a smile? You'll start hearing this everywhere. This is that adorable rolling question mark sound your cat makes when they see you. Unlike the meow, it's a closed mouth sound made on the exhale, softer, lighter, and unmistakably friendly. In the world, mother cats trill to call their kittens or get their attention. It's a sound that means come closer. When your cat trolls at you, they're reaching back to that kittenhood context. They're treating you like family, someone they want close. 
Scientists call trills and chirps affiliative signals, sounds designed to strengthen bonds. In multi-cat homes, cats often trill to each other in greeting, and the chirp, sometimes aimed at prey through the window, may be a cousin of chatter, mixing excitement with invitation. What's fun is how individual these sounds are. Some cats trill constantly, like adding punctuation to their sentences. Others save it for rare moments of peak affection. Studies show the trill is one of the most reliably positive signals in cat communication, with almost no negative meaning. So when your cat trills at you, it isn't just cute, it's one of their clearest signs of affection. It's their way of saying, hello, I'm glad you're here, stay with me. Think of it as the feline version of a smile. Why do cats machine gun their teeth at birds? The answer's a wild hunting hack. This is probably the strangest and funniest sound your cat makes. That rapid fire ekekek they do when staring down a bird or squirrel at the window. For a long time, behaviorists thought it was just frustrated arousal, their hunting circuits firing with no outlet. But there are other theories. Some researchers think the chatter mimics bird alarm calls or rodent squeaks. If true, it could momentarily confuse prey, giving cats a split-second advantage. Wild cats like margays in the Amazon have even been recorded imitating the calls of monkeys and birds to lure them closer, a form of acoustic mimicry. Domestic chatter might be a smaller version of the same trick. But another idea is that the jaw motion is a kind of rehearsal. Your cat is practicing the rapid neck and jaw movements of the killing bite. Neurological studies show these muscles fire in rhythmic patterns, almost like a built-in reflex. Chatter may be the nervous system running the sequence on loop, even without a catch. Whatever the reason, chatter is a rare glimpse of the wild predator inside your pet. That silly ekekek isn't random. It's an instinct sharpened over millions of years, bubbling up in your living room. So far, we've got sounds for talking to us, for healing, for greetings, even for hunting. Basically, your cat has more communication features than the latest iPhone. But what happens when the conversation turns serious? That's when they unlock the Do Not Mess With Me toolkit. A snake impression hardwired since birth. A hiss isn't really aggression. It's fear in disguise. When a cat hisses, they're saying, I feel cornered, don't come closer. It's one of the clearest back off signals in cat language, designed to stop a fight before it starts. Here's the fascinating part. To hiss, a cat blasts air through an arched tongue and tight vocal tract, creating that sharp burst of white noise. And it's startling, but that's the point. Evolution shaped it to sound eerily like a snake's warning hiss. Ethologists call this acoustic mimicry, a survival trick. Across nature, harmless animals copy dangerous ones. Moths that look like wasps, fish that mimic eels. Cats borrow the snake's universal warning system. And it works. The hiss is loud enough to make even larger predators hesitate, giving the cat a chance to escape. Kittens as young as two weeks old can hiss before their eyes even open, showing that it's hardwired, not learned. And cats aren't alone. Big cats like cougars and leopards hiss too, often in mother-cub interactions. That shared behavior points to deep evolutionary roots. So when your cat hisses, they're not being mean. They're pulling the fire alarm, bluffing danger to keep themselves safe. The best response? Respect the boundary and give them space. Ignore this next warning and your cat may skip straight to claws. If the hiss is the warning shot, the growl is the loaded chamber is deeper, longer, and created by vibrating the vocal folds at low frequencies. Those rumbles travel farther and resonate in our chests. And that's no accident. Across the animal kingdom, low sound signals threat. From lions to alligators, deep growls advertise size and strength, even when the animal isn't that big. It's an auditory illusion. By dropping their pitch, cats make themselves sound larger than they are. For your cat, a growl is serious business. It usually comes with clear warning signs. Ears flat, tail lashing, body turned sideways to look bigger. In mythology, this is called an escalation signal, the stage when the animal is ready to act if the threat doesn't back down. Because fights are risky in the wild, vocal warnings like growls evolve to stop them before blood is shed. 
What's striking is how universal this sound is. Dogs growl, big cats roar, even humans instinctively lower their voices when angry. It all taps into the same mammalian pathway in the brainstem that controls stress vocalizations. When your cat growls, they're not negotiating, they're laying down their final boundary. And respecting that growl is key. If you ignore it and push closer, you teach your cat that vocal warnings don't work, and the next time they may skip straight to claws or teeth. But if you step back, you prove you understand their language, and that's how you build trust. And this last one could mean your cat needs urgent help. The yowl is a long, loud, drawn-out cry. Less of a conversation and more of a broadcast. In the wild, it evolved as a long-distance signal, cutting across territory to warn rivals or attract mates. That's why intact cats yowl during breeding season. It carries far, announcing they're available or defending turf. In domestic life, the meaning shifts. A sudden yowl can signal pain, stress, or feeling trapped. Veterinary behaviorists classify it as a distress call, the cat equivalent of shouting, something's wrong. Age adds another layer. In senior cats, especially over 10, nighttime yowling is a common sign of feline cognitive dysfunction, a feline version of Alzheimer's. Older cats may get disorientated, lose track of familiar paths, or confuse day and night. The yowl, echoing through the dark, reflects that anxiety and confusion. Studies suggest up to 28% of cats aged 11 to 14, and more than half of cats over 15 will show signs of cognitive decline. Neurologically, yowling comes from overactivation of the limbic system, the brain's emotional alarm center. When cats can't resolve fear, pain, or disorientation with body language, the yowl becomes their all-purpose siren. And for us, it's a sound that should never be ignored. Whether it's hormonal, medical, or cognitive, persistent yowling is a red flag to call the vet. It's your cat's way of saying, please listen, I need help. So we've covered the big seven, but cats actually make over a hundred different sounds. A few of the wildest, the caterwaul, that eerie foghorn wail during mating season. The scream, a piercing cry you'll hear in fights. And quirky extras like the silent meow or little goat-like bleats. You won't hear these every day, but they're proof of just how inventive the feline voice can be. Understanding this language is a superpower. Here are three simple things you can start doing today. Become a context detective. A sound is only half the message. A meow with a twitching tail by the food bowl means dinner now. A meow with flat ears and a crouched body means I'm scared. Always read sound and body language together. Number two, talk back the right way. You can speak cat. When your cat trills or gives you a soft meow, answer back in a gentle high-pitched voice. It reinforces the bond, but never hiss at your cat. To them, you're not setting a boundary. You're a predator threatening them. And lastly, listen for what's unusual. Every cat has a baseline for how much they talk. The most important signal is a change from that norm. If your usually quiet cat starts yowling or your chatty one goes silent, it can be the first sign something's wrong. Listening for changes is a simple way to protect their health. Your cat isn't just making noise, they're telling stories. When they're happy, when they're scared, when they need you, and when they love you. You don't have to guess anymore. You can listen, you can understand, and you can have a conversation. And in that shared language, you'll find a connection that truly transcends species. If you want more cat science, check out this video next.